Run, Recovery Scotland. Back in 2001, I lost my son aged 28 years. And I feel very sad and angry that each year since, we have seen numbers in drug-related deaths rising. We need to be shouting out for change, letting our MPs know that really the loss of young life still going up each year is just really not acceptable. This year in March, I lost my big brother. I lost my big brother to drugs. He was only 30. The government aren't doing enough for us and he needs help because he didn't deserve to die. My pal Felix was 48, burnt himself to death in a motor. My pal Martin was 27, carried his coffin, he was he was in long in recovery. My other pal Brian, fun behind the door, and the list goes on and on. And that's the reason I'm here. I, I, I don't know how to express how I feel. I'm here to remember my brother. If you knew him, or even if you didn't, I'm just sure if he was standing here today, he would tell you, <laughs> try and try. And keep bloody trying. Uh, I lost my wee brother many years ago. He died on my birthday. Uh, for years and years and years, I used that as an excuse to carry on the way I was. Last year, my birthday, I never used on it the first time since he died. We can celebrate the people that's died in addiction by staying in recovery, by being recovery focused, by being recovery activists. Can I ask you to raise your roses, please? Please take the time to reflect on those lives worth remembering and those lives worth talking about while you make your way, placing your roses in the river. Open up your door I can't see your face no more Love is so hard to find And even harder to define So in my 20s I went off travelling around the world and then I thought now I need to settle down and do something in politics and it was at that time I lost Danny, a neighbour of mine who became one of my closest friends and greatest inspirations. So I'm here to really rejoice in his memory and also to be here to support with others. Open up the door Open up your door We are delighted to welcome the recovery walk to Dundee for 2017. I think it's going to be a fantastic day. Hopefully we've got good crowds as we walk through the city centre. It means so much to the city, it really does. From the very start, it's been such a privilege for me and the guys here at Recovery Dundee just, just to be involved, honestly. It's been, it's been brilliant and it's going to hopefully have a lasting legacy in Dundee. But the atmosphere is electric, it looks fantastic. We're going to have a great day. <laughs> There's loads of recovery in Dundee. There's cafes, there's fellowships, there's mutual aid groups, and it's kind of dotted all over the place. And I think the good thing about this today is to kind of bring everything together, just to make it more, make it more visible. People aren't aware what's out there. And that was one of the reasons behind what we do in promoting all recovery pathways. And I think having the walk here today, it's just going to ignite that, just to make things more visible. Recovery has gave us our life back. It's gave my kids and mum back and because of my addiction it's given me experience that not many people can use and then go forward and help others with so it's been awesome. I've got a career, I've got my family, I've made new friends, 
it's totally changed my life. Well, I don't think there's ever been anything as visible in my memory of living in Dundee. That amount of people with that much hope and the energy and the passion and the happiness that you could see on everybody as they walked through the city centre and that sense of pride and belonging to a community of folk that are saying this is different and this is better and this is hopeful and it will work. My son is five years clean and he's now a recovery development worker. I'm up here today so supporting the recovery walk for recovery here down in South Ayrshire. It's great to be part of this. I mean, this will be the fifth one I've been to. So seeing all these people supporting and I mean, just showing recovery is possible. I think half of why we've got so many people here today is we've got there's a real soft spot for Dundee in Scotland and, and really seeing it's it's trying to reinvent itself and it's it's got the new VA museum. We can see it's really trying its really best and we feel recovery from addiction should be part of that reinvention of a city in Scotland, that it should be a city in recovery. It's high visibility and also just making people aware that recovery looks like this. This is what it exists in Scotland and exists in large numbers and the, the people were so supportive. Absolutely. It was really amazing and actually we found the council incredibly supportive, the police supportive, so it's been like an incredibly open door for recovery in Dundee. I'm just here to support all our friends from South Aberdeenshire, uh, oh, South Aberdeenshire Community Forum, um, just to show that recovery is possible. We're so proud of all the people that are in recovery. It's such an achievement. Brilliant. It's good to know that there's a lot of people there and that they're willing to accept me for who we are and know there's a road forward. In my recovery, it's making me make the right choices and to get on and know that there's people in the background there to help you as well. <laughs> eight prisons who have actually taken part in the walk today and 15 prisons who took part in the walk yesterday uh, in their own recovery walk, Recovery Comes From Within and uh, I was at Berlini Inside Out Recovery Cafe yesterday. Welcome everyone to Recovery Scotland 2017! Yeah! What I hear is Dundee had the highest drug test this year so it's not a coincidence that we've chosen Dundee this year to make recovery visible in Scotland. We raise funds you know, in excess of £30,000 to make this day possible. That money came from you, that money came from people with sponsorship, with donations, and there's two extraordinary women here today, Kula Garney and her sister Karen. They walked 500 miles round Scotland. We both walked 500 miles in the month she of July. Walked 500 more. We both did, both, both two of us. What I'd like to do is invite the loving people of this world and this country to come and form loving, compassionate communities. Let's reach out to the other tribes of wounded people in Scotland, those who are wounded from mental distress, those who are wounded from obesity, those who are wounded from the tobacco-related diseases, and those who are wounded from any other sorrows unspecified. We all are the tribes of the wind, and we have something to offer each other. way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. So if you 
join me in the uh, closing serenity prayer. Okay, we ready? Grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the vigilance in all the deficits. Amen. 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 Amen.